Finally, it stopped raining. Those of you who enjoy rainfall must be wondering why I am so happy, right? Actually, it's been raining here for a few days so much that the news reported a flood warning. So, what are floods? When there is an excess of rainfall, there is a possibility of water collecting all around us. Usually, rainwater drains into ponds, lakes and rivers. Some of it seeps into the soil. But what if it continues to rain heavily for days or even weeks? Will the water bodies be able to take in all the water? Of course not. Water bodies will start to overflow just like a jug that overflows when you continue to pour water into it. The same goes for soil too. It absorbs water. But how much will it absorb? Let's try to understand this with a fun activity. We take this sponge and pour some water on it. See, it keeps absorbing water. This piece of sponge is like the soil. It absorbs water. Now, if we keep pouring water, it will eventually lose its potential to soak anymore. See, the sponge has stopped absorbing the water and it's now flowing out. In the same way, when land covered with soil cannot absorb any more water, it starts collecting the water on the surface. This can cause floods if the same continues for a longer period of time. How does this huge amount of water harm us? It can wash away everything from plants to animals that live on land, water or even in the soil. Sometimes the water flow is so powerful that it can even wash away cars and other heavier vehicles. Never thought rainfall could be so dangerous. But the amount of rainfall a place receives is not the same everywhere on earth. A few places receive heavy rainfall while the other experience very less rainfall. What if a place does not receive any rainfall during one season or more? These places tend to experience hotter climates like those of Rajasthan. No rainfall and excess heat from the sun dries up water from rivers or lakes. Even the soil loses water because of this heat and becomes dry. How do people survive in these places? They usually use the groundwater. However, as time goes by, the level of groundwater also decreases, causing water shortages. This shortage of water due to abnormally low rainfall for prolonged periods of time causes droughts. Imagine living for a day without water. We would all panic, right? Sadly, this is an everyday reality for many people living in areas of drought. Yes, if these situations go on for a long period of time, people will not be able to survive. Not just humans, but plants and animals suffer in such situations as well. They become weak and cannot survive. Is there anything we can do to avoid these terrible situations? Yes! Plant more trees that bring rainfall in drought-prone areas. More trees can withstand the force of flood water if river overflows. And what if you see a flood warning on the news like I did? What would you do? First things first. Create a plan for everyone, including your pets, to move to a safer place. We'll call this an evacuation plan. Also, prepare an emergency kit with food, bottled water, wet wipes, torches and, and a first aid kit. It's always better to move all your valuable to a higher floor when there's a lower risk of water entering. So, before I go and prepare my emergency kit, let's revise what we've learned so far. When it rains for days or weeks, causing water bodies to overflow, it results in floods. If a region experiences abnormally less rainfall for a long period of time, it causes droughts. So spread awareness among your friends and family about floods and droughts. And remember, we stay curious.